My name is Christopher and I'll be demonstrating some of the malware detection configuration items. First, let's briefly review the prerequisites for the feature. If you are using a net backup or flex appliance, the prerequisites are already completed. Otherwise, you will need MSDP on Red Hat with Nginx and NFS or Samba. The choice between NFS or Samba depends on your organization and what is allowed. You can also opt for both, especially if you are already using universal shares elsewhere. Configure the proper authentication for your users specifically required for Samba. Next, initialize universal shares with the VPFS config command on the MSTP server. With these minimum components, we can proceed. If you are leveraging instant access or universal shares for other features as well, be sure to consult the specific documentation for the other features. Also, for the sake of brevity in this demo, I have installed the NetBackup malware tool on the same host, but this is not recommended for production. For the NetBackup malware tool, simply extract the package and run setup.sh. In the NetBackup web UI, we can see that malware detection is not yet set up with any configuration. The first step is to configure a scan pool. To configure a scan pool, we do so for a malware application combined with a protocol. The scan pool will be selected during a scan, so name it intuitively. Later, we will add specific hosts to this pool. For now, we will create a pool with a NetBackup malware application, and we'll choose the NFS protocol for this pool. This aligns with my scan host configuration, as well as the universal shares installed components. You can use either or both protocols in universal shares, but a scan pool can only use a single protocol, and thus the scan hosts within that pool will be limited to that protocol. To start adding a scan host, enter your scan host name and select Save and Manage Credentials. Since this is a new setup, we will add new credentials and select Next. To complete adding the scan host, I will need the following information, a unique name for these credentials so that they can be referenced and managed, a user ID, password, SSH port, and that user's RSA key, and select that matching protocol to my scan pool, in this case, NFS. For comparison, we can see that Samba configuration additionally prompts for the Samba user authentication. We can now click through to finish. We are then returned to the malware settings menu. We can return to the main malware detection menu by either clicking on the menu name for malware detection or clicking on the X in the upper right. Anomaly detection tracks image metadata separately from malware detection, but malware detection can leverage anomaly detection scores. To configure automatic scans for anomaly scores designated as high, which is a value higher than 15, we need to deploy a configuration file from the provided template by copying it. Be sure your copy is not read-only. The contents of this file, shown here in three sections, can be used to configure automatic scanning by first uncommenting the line and enabling it with a value of 1 and typing the scan pool to use. Additionally, for section three, you can configure specific pools to be used for specific clients paired together with a batch number. This is beyond the scope of this current video, but provides a dynamic approach to automatic scanning for large scale enterprises. Malware detection configuration is now complete. Now that the scan pool is available, you can scan on demand or take advantage of automatic scanning for high anomaly scores. Thank you for watching.